Situated in the capital city of Islamabad, the Pakistan Museum of Natural History is a vast collection of natural history exhibits encompassing different scientific reviews, from preserved animals in a nearly lifelike state to giant fossils. Get to see it all inside the huge gardens of the museum. But first, let's learn all about the Natural History Museum before planning a visit with your kids. Friends, Pakistan Museum of Natural History has six galleries. This museum's first gallery is particularly virtual orientation gallery, which was introduced in 2016. It's ideal for kids and other visitors if they want to learn more about the earth and its flora and fauna in an interactive manner without visiting galleries. Friends, the second one comes to Bio Gallery, which in Pakistan Museum of Natural History provides information to the visitors about the flora and fauna of Pakistan. Let's explore this section. gallery has been divided into two sections. One section provides information about different animals, birds and plants along with their habitat found in different eco-regions ranging from the alpine heights to the seashore of Pakistan. The second part of bio gallery elucidates the problems related to the biodiversity of Pakistan. Three-dimensional diorama in this section also highlights the issues related to air, noise, soil and water pollution, deforestation, forest fire and soil erosion, overfishing, overhunting, water logging, salinity and desertification. Let's visit this section. Friends, in the third gallery of Pakistan Museum of Natural History belongs to Tathis Gallery, which provides information and visual about salt range, ocean, minerals, and rock. Let's come and explore. The Salt Range is one of the best geological sites in the world for collection of rocks, fossils and minerals for research.
the rock formation in the salt range is from 550 million to 10,000 years old in this 3D dharma. The Kevra salt mine has been shown, which is the world's second largest salt mine. It also shows the extraction of coal from mine. The second part of Tethys Gallery provides information about the ocean geological distribution from coast, continental shelf, continental slope, and to the deep sea geysers. A variety of marine life, including fishes, corals, and other marine fossils found at different depths of the ocean, are displayed in the section. The last part of this gallery has been created to highlight the significance of minerals and rocks of Pakistan, which is comprised of three main sections. These three sections, the minerals and rocks collected from different regions of Pakistan are showcased according to their relevant geological environment.